Hey, welcome back to into today's video. We're going to have a look at the uh, monthly update from the career model today. It's just updated, uh, so we'll have a look and see what that's uh, showing from the middle of March through to the early part of April. It's broken down into 10 day periods, I think. So, uh, yeah, we'll have a look and see uh, what that's predicting for the coming monthly period. Now, I just want to say that uh, my uh, eyes are a bit sore today, so I've got the camera turned off, but the microphone is on. Hope you can hear me okay. Also, I want to mention the advertising based video ads on my pages at gasworthmeets.com. If you press play on the video ad, you'll be supporting gasworthins.com. And um, thanks very much for doing that. Um, also trying out some new ads, which are content ads, uh, basically about articles or links to articles that you may find interesting. So if you click through those uh, links and go and read the article, uh, Gasworth is we get a royalty fee on what you're doing, just something I'm experimenting with to uh, see how it goes. And thanks very much for doing all of that. It does make a big difference to the website. It pays me to sit here and talk to you via the website so it is important that you do it and i know you do it for the website thanks very much uh for doing that so yeah we're going to start off uh, with the middle of march uh from the korean model um these are sea level pressure anomalies uh and uh, what we're looking at here first of all is uh as i say the middle of march an anomaly so i assume it's a, an anomaly for say the 10th to the 20th of march something like that broken down into 10 day uh periods we've got the red uh, color sitting down to the south and to the southwest of the country. We've got the blue colours uh, sitting up to the north of the country. That's a very typical sort of setup, really. The jet stream is uh, running between the uh, low pressure to the north, high pressure to the south. And it's basically not too bad. It's very pleasant for uh, England and Wales. There would be plenty of dry weather. We'd still be bringing uh, weather systems through to the north of the country, in particular with that low pressure sitting uh, to the north, the blue colours there. Uh, so yeah, more unsettling in the north and west, always drier in the south and the southeast. Not completely dry in the south and southeast. You'd still get weather systems coming through on occasion, but it's a lot better than we've had uh, throughout most of this winter. It's a very typical uh, sort of spring setup for the British Isles, uh, with a westerly flow, high pressure to the south, low pressure uh, to the north not too bad it will be quite mild uh, as well because the, uh, the uh, wind is off the Atlantic now, as we go through to the next uh, period which is late March so I assume this is going from say the 20th uh, to say the 30th or the 21st to the 31st uh, well then look at this We've got these this uh, red area setting up right over the top of the country so that implies high pressure will be rising into the country from the southwest uh, a very dominant area of high pressure with those red colors taking over uh, for the final week to 10 days of March. The uh, jet stream being pushed off up to the north around that high pressure, uh, going well north. Um, so that's a very nice anomaly uh, for late March. I think that would be a real taste of spring. It would be virtually universally dry if it came off. would be pretty mild as well. could be some night frost, of course, because the night's still quite long. But uh, by day, it would be very nice indeed. Uh, temperatures leading to uh, double figures, probably into the mid teens uh, for quite a number of places so yeah that's a very nice anomaly and it's completely dry so all those flooded areas will get the chance uh, to clear up that's a pretty good update from the korean model uh, for march now it does go out to april let's see what it's showing uh, for early april so again this presumably takes us from the first to the tenth of april uh, something like that and then uh, rather concerning uh, signs there, I've been talking for a while in the videos about the chance that things could turn colder and wetter as we go into April. That could be when we finally get some wintry weather. We haven't had hardly any wintry weather uh, this uh, this winter. Uh, as we get to April, uh, well if this is right we would be looking at some wintry conditions because we start to take the high pressure much further north. It's going up towards Iceland and Greenland. We've got the low pressure uh, with these blue colours tracking underneath Beneath the high pressure, the jet stream it is going something like that around the high pressure to the north and then to the trough to the south. Uh, so we're under a cold trough of uh, low pressure uh, running to the south of the country, got blocking uh, around Greenland and Iceland. That is a signal for cold and potentially quite wet uh, conditions, and you'll be expecting uh, northerly, northeasterly winds uh, with that. So it may very well be, again, I've been implying this for a while, it may very well be but as we get to april uh, that's finally when we start to see some frosty weather perhaps and uh, maybe in some wintry weather it's, it isn't too early in uh, april to get some snow and particularly for northern parts of the country you can get some 
still quite snowy weather actually in uh, early April in particular so we've got to be watching out for that of course it's an early spring because it's been so mild through the winter so uh, by April all of the fruit blossom is going to be coming out uh, the tender plants will be starting to lift up the wild ones anyway um, so we've got to watch out for that it could be quite nasty if we get that cold snap coming along early April so a pretty good update from the Korean model uh, for the rest of March it does look as though high pressure is going to become increasingly dominant and um, in a fairly mild direction as well so I think as we get through to the last stage of March could be very pleasant indeed but then as we get to April we've got to watch out for a cold snap uh, if we take the high pressure north to Iceland and Greenland uh, it's going to get colder and it's not too early or it's not too late I should say uh, for frost and snow uh, even in April so we do have to be wary that's it for now a very quick update today because uh, I've been very busy making some changes to the website um, that's it for now five day forecast tomorrow so come back for that and that's all for now thanks for watching